<laughs> Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper. This is the NPC by Sorcery Synthetics and Mobula Mobula. So the NPC is in its essence an attenuation and amplification module in 2HP which is of course great. Um, you might also describe this as a graduated multiple because it does what it does. You throw in one signal there, whether it's CV, audio, anything you might want, and you then get six, well, variations of that signal back. And this is of course the absolute brilliancy is that you've got three attenuated outs of course all with their own well divisions you might say you've got one out that's a unity out which is again exactly the same as the uh, signal that you put in there and then two amplification outs as well but where it really starts to shine is with the switch and the nice thing is, if you do that, then all of these outputs get a slightly hotter output. So, for instance, the, um, uh, the unity output becomes um, four thirds. So that's one and one third. So, and that ratio is used throughout this module. So you can then indeed use this to momentarily increase any sort of signal, whether it's indeed, as I said, CV, audio, you name it. And the one thing is, they also included this. Hmm, not sure what to think of that. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. So looking forward to this video, uh, I hope you would. Um, so before we dive in, I do have to thank both uh, Sorcery Synthetics and Mobula Mobula for making this video possible. Guys, you're the best. Absolutely brilliant. Um, for now, I would just say make sure you're sitting down, have something to drink, have something to eat, put your feet up, kick your shoes off, whatever you want to make yourself uh, comfortable because uh, you're in for a ride. Here we go. So here we have the Sorcery and Mobula Mobula NPC in all its 2 HP of legendary glory. And it, it immediately brings me back to uh, when I was a bit more of an avid gamer than I am today. Um, so I've got several decades of uh, gaming history under my belt. And an NPC is a so-called non-player character. So those would be the, well, um, the people that give you quests, um, the people that you need to protect, the people that you need to slay, uh, the people that you need to lay, maybe even. And I feel that it's a bit of a misnomer because this is essentially a very playable module. And I don't want to leave you in suspense. Uh, so let's just uh, have a quick look at what we actually have here. So um, just for going from top to bottom. So you've got your inputs, so you can patch anything in there like CV, but also audio rate signals, anything you might want. And then you have all of these outputs that either uh, give you the same value, of course, the same voltage back as you put in there, but then of course, multiply it by the numbers on the left. And if you flip that switch, it then goes to the, well, the fractions on the right. And of course it also is easily switchable like that, uh, which would then have the same effect as putting it down, but then it's easier to play it like that. Um, so you have several uh, attenuation options, you might say, uh, all the way from uh, uh, from an eighth, all the way up to, as you see here, two thirds, up to just one. So that's that's unity. So this is, if the switch is in a neutral position, it would just give you the exact same value back as you patch in there, and you can also use this to boost that signal too, uh, with the uh, th uh, one and a half and two, and here you have two and eight thirds, so that is two two thirds, 
And yeah, this is this is immediately helping me out with some of the challenges that I've had with some of my modules that um, might not deliver the well, the volume that I need. So I've got several modules that are a bit quiet, you might say, because of course, if something is a bit too loud, it's easy just throw an attenu attenuator on top of that, and you can easily play with that. But to actually boost a signal, uh, you'll need to have something like a several VCAs in order to do that. Uh, some other options might be uh, available to you as well. Uh, but this is a very elegant way for just doing just that. So you throw in something like, well, you, something you you don't really have enough volume. Um, so one of the, well, my go-to oscillator is the Nano Honor. But if we look at the actual signal that it produces, let me just do that straight away. Um, so I'm just gonna use the Buff Jarvis here to mold that so we can actually see and hear uh, what we're working with. And let me just patch that into the ES9. There you go. So as you see, that is maxing out at 2.6 volts. Let me just uh, make sure that we can uh, see that. Yep. Which might not be hot enough um, for all of my patches. But if I then take that same voltage and I patch that into the NPC and then patch that into the let's grab the the unity so we can see what happens I'm going to patch that in there and then grab this one so now we'll see that we have the exact same signal coming in there so it's the exact same voltage um, but let's then zoom out a bit so we have everything said and done there. If I then flip this switch, uh, we will actually see that it's no longer gonna give me the exact same voltage, uh, but it's gonna be four thirds of that value, which is of course one and one third. Flip that switch, there you go. And it immediately goes all the way up to 3.3. And that might still not be enough. So we can actually go to one and a half, there you go. Flip the switch again, and we would see two. There you go, almost five. And if we want even more, I might need to zoom out again. So now we are at 4.9, flip the switch, and we're at 6.5. So that is, of course, a voltage that you can easily work with. One thing we can also have a look at is that even if you don't have anything plugged in, let me just disconnect that for now, even if you don't have anything plugged in, so I don't have anything in, in and I go to the Unity output, you'll see that it gives you a an approximate voltage of five volts, so 4.88 currently. And you can then, of course, use this and you can play with this with the switch, either like that or just push it up a couple of times. Let me zoom out in the time axis and we can actually see what happens there. There you go. So as I said, that, that makes this very playable. And then, of course, you do have the attenuation levels and you do have the boost signals there as well. So this is already something that you can easily start to play with. So what would I like to do now is I want to actually let you listen to what this does. So let me just go back to the owner. I'm just going to patch this in there and I'm just going to grab another cable like that. And we should be able to actually patch this and then go it like that. There you go. Oh, and I might need to connect it like this. Just apologies for this. There we go.
There you go. If I then flip that switch. So as you can hear, that increase in voltage immediately well, translates into a higher volume. So what you can do with that is of course you can use this to do things like accents. So let's grab, instead of just losing, listening to this drone, which is not that interesting, it's not the best drone I've ever done. kinds of things with this so you can actually say okay well this is something I want to investigate even further um, but you can do this with audio rates or anything else there as well so what I want to do now is I want to do something a bit different so instead of using audio rate uh, signals I'm just gonna make sure that we patch in the actual fault per octave signal coming from the hermit in my case there you go and there you go so you can actually see what we have there this is connected to the unity so we get in the same signal out of the npc as we're patching in and then of course we can change that by flipping this switch or by selecting another output whether we do the Eighth. Let's see if we can make sure that this is a bit more visible. There you go. That's maybe a bit too much. There you go. Or we can go all the way up to, well, let's say even two times the, uh, the actual. There you go. But let's keep it at the Unity for now. So we're going to get this same output there. So let's then patch this output into the full proactive in. Let's grab this and put that into the boundary so we can actually create something that sounds a bit nicer into that. And then we'll also grab the gate signal from there. And even though this is a gate signal, I'm just gonna put it into the trigger and make sure that we then patch that into my mixer. So this is the, the melody we've all heard a uh, hundred times on my channel of course and there's a reason why I wanted to use this again so if I then flip this switch we are actually gonna well boost the um, the CV with a factor of uh, one and one thirds and that's gonna mess up the melody <laughs> interesting right and that is of course because if you were to add a uh, a single volt to this then you would indeed hear the uh, exact same melody just one octave up but if you then multiply all of the values with any value that you might have you're gonna get something that is either stretched over too much octaves or is being compressed into too few so this is of course something that is absolutely bonkers to play with and one of the ideas I've had is actually just taking this well this this full proactive signal and then route it through a quantizer of sorts and then you can start to get all of these nice 
and rich new melodies from the melodies you already have. So let's just go into the, the eighth one. And you can then of course start playing around with this. But as you can hear, this is already completely out of tune, of course. And sometimes you do just run into some of these nicer melodies, of course. But this is, of course, again, this is meant for exploration for attenuation and just to play with all these things that you might have and then of course you can also use this for other things so you might say well if we get that um, that CV right there then you might say well I want to use this to play with the the rise or fall time Just a, a quick example of what you can do uh, with all of this. And that's just nice, right? So let's see if we can create something that sounds a bit nicer. Let's see what we have here. And we might then want to introduce some other sounds too. So let's grab, well, how about we get a kick in there as well? around with that kick sound a bit. <laughs> it doesn't sound like anything right. Just uh, add a bit of, uh, of a filter to it as well. So in, and wrap this as well. Um, what did I just do? That's the wrong one, Jesper. There you go. And the nice thing is now, of course, that we can use any of these to actually attenuate or um, control the cutoff frequency here, or the level of, of resonance, anything like that.
that's just a nice neat thing that's something that we can work with right there's no shame in that so is that all there is to the NPC just mangling CVs and mangling uh, audio volumes no this is what we might call the one more thing moment for those of you at home that were paying attention or maybe already know what's the what's the what the surprise is here you might have seen that the actual input jack is a bit different what this actually is this is not just a regular mono jack like with just a tip and the um, and, and the shafts no this is actually a TRS jack so it's a stereo jack and then you've got a stereo splitter and if we patch that into it that's where the real magic starts to happen so let's just grab this and connect that So the tip is indeed the voltage that you pass in and what you can then do with the ring that is exactly what we want to use because what this is going to do is this is actually going to CV control the switch. So what we can then do is let's just grab maybe something from PAMS. I'm just going to patch this in there so you won't be hearing anything from now let me just open this up for now so, so now you don't hear anything and it only starts to work if you put this in and you now see if you have a look at the at the graphs you'll see that this goes up and down with the speed that I've got there. So if I then go into that, this is now in a times one, 1.3, one and a half, two, times 4 5.3 6 and you already start to hear these almost chip tuney like FM sounds course what you can also do is just grab any LFO that you might have so here I've got the um, the two times LFO from uh, uh, from voices but I can also use the ROT LFO from uh, Mobula Mobula and I'm just gonna grab the uh, the square output there I'm just gonna open this up LFO that actually goes all the way up into audio range as well this is something I really like just that 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 80s chip tune sound I love it
Let's add a bit of reverb to this, shall we? Maybe even a bit of um, delay. And again, this is still something you can play with because you still have it. And even if you go into some lower regiments, If you grab some other but of course you don't need to stop with LFOs to work with this one of the nice things I've found is if you actually grab the owner and that has sub out for um, it's got a well an octave below and two octaves below so let's start with the octave below Two octaves below. So now back to Pam's. And if you just use really short envelopes here, you don't hear that much difference with the regular uh, patch there. But if you then extend the change the uh, melody now this is the normal melody I like it and then we just start to uh, play with it again I just think this is nice. This this adds a lot of well applicability to it, and that's something I really I really like. Let's just add a bit of a snare to it as well. We might need that too.
And you can then, of course, do all kinds of things. You can mix a couple of these outputs together. You can add a lot more to it. Uh, what I found was really rich is if you then patch it into the Redux by, um, by Voices. Let me just grab that real quickly. So I'm just going to grab the output there. So we'll let the drums play for now. And I'm just going to grab this and make sure that we patch it back into the... There you go. Sorry for the cable mess. I do hope you can still see it. And the beauty then is, of course, that you can actually start to use this to attenuate everything. So if you then grab this and just put that in there. And then just start playing with the filter again a bit. Just nice, nice sounds, nice music. At least that's what I think it is. Don't expect everyone to agree with me, but yeah, who knows?
<laughs> so again, a bit of a longer jam that I was expecting to do, but still, I love it. I love playing around with these things, so uh, apologies for that. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's go back to the studio and let's wrap this up, shall we? Cheers. <laughs> so I truly hope that you liked this video on the NPC by Source RE Synthetics and Mobula Mobula, whom I again have to thank for making sure that we are able to make this video. Guys, again, thank you so very much. Um, this wouldn't have been possible without your help and support. Uh, that being said, I also want to extend again my thanks to everyone who's taken the time to uh, watch any of my videos. Um, I make these videos on the one hand because I like making these videos and I, and it's a great pastime and it's a great hobby for me to have, uh, but I also truly enjoy everyone that I reach with these videos and all of the feedback that I get. and. That feedback is of the paramount importance to me because that will help me grow professionally and also personally. So if you've got any feedback, whether it's positive, negative or constructive, <clears throat> uh, feel free to just drop that in the comment section down below or just drop me a line at jesper at the modular clubhouse dot NL. Um, if you do want to help out this channel even more, uh, please consider either liking and subscribing uh, to this channel, and you might even want to ring that bell, as they say, which still sounds a bit odd to me, if you ask me. Uh, and of course, the easiest way to help out this channel is to use any of the affiliate links down below. Uh, it won't cost you anything extra on your next modular synth or audio production studio equipment, whatever you want but a small fraction of your purchase will go towards this channel. So that would be absolutely fantastic. So please consider doing that. So for now, I would say, please everyone stay safe, stay healthy. And I do hope to see you for my next video. Until that time, cheers.